Hej och välkommen till Old Lady Plays. Jag heter Kate, den gamla damen, och det här är säsong 5, avsnitt 3 av The Journeyman, en serie på FM23. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so, let's show you what's been going on, because I got a bit of exciting news. We got a job offer. I applied for one job, and only one job, this one. You see Sampdoria. And they are in Serie Bay, in seventh place, I think. And have, they just got relegated last year. Uh, sorry, no, last year they finished fourth. Year before they got relegated. Um, so we're hoping to bounce back. It is, I think, 11 games to go in the season. And they're eight points short of being in the promotion places. So it's not an easy ask. We're, we're looking to try and get promoted. We'll need to get eight points more than everybody ahead of us over the next 11 games. That's not easy. That's three games wins. Three game wins. Uh, it's not easy. Three extra game wins in 11, meaning if they win five, we have to win eight. That's a lot. Anyway, um, I'm inclined to take it. The wage is three and a half times higher than the one I'm on in Sweden. Uh, the transfer budget's a little low now, but if we get into Serie A, I'm sure it'll be much bigger. And the wage budget is quite a bit larger than IECO's. So, and there are many fewer um, things they want. They're not telling me how to play at all. Um, and all they want from me this year is to finish in the top three places, which is going to be very difficult. But I'm going to try. And um, yeah, we'll see how things go. But I'm I'm very much inclined to take it, so let's let's do that. Uh, two years. Promotion wage drives fine. Yep, yep, yep. That'll do. That will do. There we go. I'm going to Italy. Benvenuto a Italia, all'Italia. I think something like that. Anyway. <laughs> got a new language to learn I will be uh, back on Monday I expect and we'll have a first look at the squad and see what we've got in terms of a challenge for the rest of the season I know for instance that the squad is um, a little bit thin at goalkeeper uh, let's see here's the two goalkeepers Luigi Seppe He's 34 years old and is worth almost nothing. Um, he looks like he's got some decent numbers, so he's not going to be completely useless. But, um, yeah, and then his backup is a uh, an 18-year-old with unknown qualities. But he's not going to be great because otherwise, ooh, he'd have, you know, a value. Um, <laughs> yeah, so a little thin at the goalkeeper. Um, looks like we've got a lot of defenders, midfielders little short on on strikers maybe i mean we've got five guys here who can play it but we've only got two out and out strikers so i don't know we'll see we will see how things go but anyway that's all i'm going to do for this episode is is just that i'm going to accept the job and let you know and then on monday i'll come back the game will be in italian i will be drowning because i don't speak italian at all and i've never played in italian before um, I welcome this move because, as Andy Brown pointed out, if I had taken the job at Twente, um, I would have been basically recreating last time's linguistic journeyman. Last time we went to um, Excelsior in Netherlands, then Urgrite in Sweden, and I think it was Tromsø in Norway before moving to Portugal. So I like this better. I think this is a better one. Plus, it's exciting to be in Serie B. 
you know, we're we're close to close to getting to the to one of the top five leagues in Europe. That's exciting. Um, you know, that's for a journeyman. That's that's pretty exciting. So yeah. Anyway, that's how we're doing, and that's what we're going to be doing on Monday. I will see you then. I hope you have a great day, and take care.